sometimes this is the way I feel. My mind is just kind of all over the place. You ever felt like that? You just you got all these things running through your brain, and you're wondering what should I do? What direction should I take? Maybe you're going to go to college, and, and you've got all these possibilities, and it says, you know, which college do I go to? Which one does God want me to go to? Again, I've been accepted by eight or nine. How do I make up my mind? Well, the Bible says this in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Prepare your minds for action. This is something you predetermined beforehand. This is something you've mapped out beforehand. And while you're doing it, be self-controlled, be patient. Realize it's a process. It's going to take a little time. It's not going to be accomplished in just a moment. Rash decisions usually bring terrible consequences. So the first thing we ought to do when we're trying to make up our mind is we ought to pray to God. We ought to ask for his direction, his guidance, his understanding. The strength to do what is right. And if we'll pray, God, whatever I do, that you will bless it. God will bless whatever decision we make. The Bible says that even if we go on the wrong journey here, if we take the wrong turn, God can somehow work that out for our benefit and to his glory. If we continue to maintain that faithful desire. To want to be with God and be right. It says, be self-controlled. Set your hope on the grace to be given to you when Jesus Christ is revealed. Now that's what the passage is actually telling me, and what I, or at least what I see of it, is that no matter what goal we take, what path we take on there, what direction we go, guess what? If we go in the wrong direction, God can correct it. Sometimes he'll say, stop, turn, change. Other times he'll say, okay, this path is now going to lead to a different place than what it would have, because your heart and your mindset is in a different place. So what goals do you have in your life? What ambitions are perfect? What is your purpose? Or have you even bothered to find it or discover it? I have to tell you something else. A lot of Christians have never even bothered to seek or discover, and that is their talents. I hear a lot of times people say, well, I'm not, you know, I don't really have any talents that I can use for God. I can tell you that everybody has God-given abilities or talents. God doesn't make junk. God makes good things. He said that in the beginning. When he created man, he said, that's very good. When he created you, he said, that's very good. I used to, when I, well, my Wife and I had three kids, and each time I said, you know, that's a keeper. <laughs> like I had a choice. <laughs> Put her back. It's not a possibility. <laughs> the decision or the course has been set way before that. So the reality is, is you need to make the best of where you're at. But wherever you're at does not need to determine necessarily 